Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, you've all seen these before, the Derwent battery razor and the Tombow Mono Zero 2.3mm eraser. Commonplace in any pencil artist's pencil case or kit. Um, nothing special about these. Derwent, very efficient, simple battery eraser, gets the job done, um, goes through coloured pencils as well really easily. And the Tombow Mono Zero is a classic, you know, you can get the super fine uh, detail with that. But when you're using coloured pencils or 8B graphite pencils and you want little fine dots, little fine highlights, things like that, sometimes this can struggle a little bit. You know, you really have to kind of press hard and rub and you can make a bigger mark than what you actually want. Now, what if I told you that you could combine these both of these erasers you could get a battery eraser that had a 2.3 mil eraser in there that in fact didn't even run on batteries that was USB chargeable what if I told you that existed it would be the ultimate eraser wouldn't it well it does exist and there it is no batteries needed, charges from a USB, simply plugs into the back, I'm going to get it the right way round, plug that into your laptop, computer, whatever, got a little charging light on there, so you know when it's charged you've got a cover for the top, that cover comes off and it fits over the back so you don't lose it, it's got a really powerful motor in this and it's beautifully designed it's so ergonomic it sits perfectly in the hand you know this nice whoops switching it on there this nice sort of curved shape to it everything's all nicely rounded super comfortable to hold now I've used the Derwent for years and I've been very happy with it but it's not very ergonomically designed it gets the job done but it's a five mil um, eraser in there so it's quite wide um, although I've managed with it and it's, it's produced some lovely effects for me over the years the fact that this one comes with both a 5mm and a 2.3mm eraser in there you've got the choice of both I'll show you that in a minute um, just makes this the only eraser you ever need in my opinion this is an absolute game changer Somebody very kindly sent me this, one of my Patreon members very kindly sent me this. They said, look, you've got to see this. This is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now, I've seen um, a very similar eraser by the same company, Tihu. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it's Tihu, Tiho, something, I'm not sure. Um, which is a lot thinner than this. And you've got the same system in the end where you've got these collets that pull out and you get a spare pack let me just move these out of the way a second you get a spare pack of both sizes of eraser in there and two different sizes of these collets one of them where you get you actually get two for these small 2.3 mil eraser and you get the large one for the larger 5 mil eraser in there so you've got a spare essentially so you can chop and change between um, you know the 5 mil which is basically your you know your standard battery eraser and I can get, get that out there it just simply just fits in there like that just as I, it does with the Derwent it's exactly the same system And it works in much the same way. So you've basically got, you know, your standard Derwent eraser there, uh, without any batteries. A lot more comfortable and ergonomically designed. It's chargeable with, you know, a USB. Like I say, no batteries, and we can just swap that out. Put the 2.3 in there, and essentially you've got the Tombow. Uh, mono 
eraser there, but in a um, electric form. How good is that? So I think we'd better just do a little test with this and just show you how efficient this thing is. First of all though, it comes in a nice little box like that and you get your USB cable and everything there that I've showed you. Um, so, you know, you, you've, I'm not sure how many you got. It looks like you've got two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. It looks like you've got eight spare erasers uh, in each size there. And you can buy the spares for them quite easily online as well. So all in all, a nice little package there and you've got your instructions on the back and everything. So I've got a little bit of paper here. It's my usual paper that I draw on. It's the Dale Rowney Smooth Heavyweight. And I'm going to get an 8B pencil. And I'm just going to draw out a little swatch there and I'm going to press quite hard and I'm really going to fill the grain of the paper. Now if you've ever tried to erase out 8B graphite before, you know that you can't get back to clean white paper. You know it's very, very, very tricky to erase. For getting thin lines, yes, the, the Tombow Mono will do that, but it does take some work. You have to kind of rub several, several times, look, and you still can't get it back to clean white paper. But with this thing, It's a lot cleaner, almost back to clean white paper and a lot thinner. The lines are a lot thinner. But the biggest trouble comes when you're doing foliage or small highlights, anything where you need a very small erase mark, trying to get little tiny dots with this thing is, is almost impossible. You now you really have to sort of rub hard and the more you rub, you know, the larger the mark is going to be. But with this thing, you just literally have to touch it on the graphite. And you can get almost sort of pinhead sized dots there, really easily, really clean, almost back to white paper. So like I say, it's got a very powerful motor in this. And a few problems I've had with the Derwent, sometimes this doesn't spin very straight. Um, you've got to get that pushed in. Oh, it actually is, it's pushed in nice and straight there. But sometimes if you get that a little bit bent, it kind of spins out of line and makes a bit of a mess on the paper. No such problems with this. This pushes in and kind of locks in really tight and perfectly straight. So that every time you turn that on, it spins perfectly, perfectly straight, no problems at all really really good piece of kit so what's it like on colored pencil well i've got a black colored pencil here and we'll do the same test again i'm going to press quite hard really get a good thick layer of this down there okay we'll start off with the tombow again we should be able to get a thin line through that can't really get it back to clean white paper, but it has done something. And this one. Just once through it, I don't have to go over it several times, just once, one pass through it. And look at that. I think that's as good as you're going to get. And we're going to get the same problem again when we're trying to erase out for small tiny dots with this it's going to be very hard to do but again with this it's going to be a lot easier look at that tiny pinhead dots there which you just haven't been able to get before now there is another version of this, like I say, um, and my friend Harry over on the Art Gear Guide has just done a review of it. The one he's done a review of is the battery version to this. It's a lot thinner, 
it's more like a very thick pencil in shape and, and like I say it's got the same configuration um, of eraser tips so I'll leave a link to Harry's channel in the description below so if you're interested in seeing a review on that one as well it's by the same manufacturer um, but like I say it runs on batteries it's a lot thinner than this and I don't think the motor is quite as powerful um, as this one so you know you can have a good look at that review there and see which one you like um, I was going to get the one that Harry reviewed I did watch his review and I thought yeah I'm going to get one of those but somebody beat me to it and sent me this instead instead and I'm more than happy with this um, it's so comfortable you can't believe how comfortable that is to hold it's perfect absolutely faultless now it doesn't mean you have to go and retire or throw out your Derwent eraser or your Tombow mono eraser there's still lots of uses for them just for convenience sake for example instead of having to keep changing out the tip if you want a larger tip you can just leave that on your desk as well and just use that when you need the larger eraser in there and the same with this I mean I'm sure we can still find uses for that um, you know when we don't want it back to clean white paper or anything that's still going to play a part in my kit you know I'm not going to get rid of either of them um, but I can see me using this probably 95% of the time now um, like I say it's a real game changer I've never seen anything like it it's absolutely hands down the best eraser on the market at the minute there is nothing better out there there are more expensive erasers out there um, than this but I don't think they come with such as a fine 2.3 option of eraser on the end and that's what it's all about um, you know there's loads of battery erasers around in this style with this size um, eraser in them I've had other ones by other manufacturers I won't name them but they've not lasted long they've not been very powerful they've been faulty they've, they've not been very good at all the Derwent has been a real workhorse for me and it's served me well for many many years um, and it's not an expensive eraser either it's it's actually you know a very good investment that one I've really enjoyed using it but when something like this comes along what are you gonna do <laughs> what are you gonna do it's just like I say it's just changed the way now I draw and erase uh, for highlights I can get some really super fine detail really clean highlights as you've seen there almost pinhead style dots in some of the darkest graphite you can lay down on paper and it doesn't struggle with it it just whips it off super clean super easy um, like I say without without doubt the best eraser on the market for the money there is nothing to touch that at all okay so I just thought I'd show you that because you're going to you're going to be seeing me using this a lot now and uh, people often say oh what was that eraser that you were using what was that pencil that you were using or whatever so I thought well I'll make a video about this and um, I'll show it you know on a review and everything because I know a lot of people are going to be interested in this oh and I forgot to mention as well um, once, it's, once it's fully charged it will run continuously for seven hours <laughs> unbelievable isn't it so basically you can press that and hold that down for seven hours I haven't done that yet so I can't confirm if that's true or not but um, you know if you get seven hours off of one charge that's really something you know that that's going to last you for months and months and months isn't it just on one charge so there you go the world's best eraser I think so and as always I will leave affiliate links in the description below to this so you can go and check them out like I say they are affiliate links and I will get um, a small commission if you buy through those links but it won't be at any extra cost to you at all you know even if you don't buy through those links I still recommend you get one of these because it's going to be a game changer for you it really is um, you've probably already got one of the smaller um, sort of thicker pencil style um, you know battery erasers with the, the small point in there um, you know you're probably very happy with that but if you've not got anything like that yet I really urge you to try one of these it really really will make a massive difference you know to the to the well basically the cleanliness of how clean you can get uh, these erase marks and how fine you can get them 
and you've got so much control. I've noticed with the Derwent, sometimes when I'm using it, it can be raising and it kind of skips a bit and judders a little bit as you're going across the page. This one doesn't. It, it just, there's no kind of resistance there. It's just kind of whipping that graphite off so quick. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't skip and drag across the page at all. It's absolutely sort of 100% controllable. Really, really easy to use. Okay, so there you go. The Tihu Eraser. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.